You have two people in a very important situation for their respective countries, and I think what they do is feel the pressure of that and decide to keep everything very still, very measured, which is not the usual Trump and actually not the usual Trudeau that we see. Both of them we'd normally expect to be a little more passionate, a little more exciting and excitable when they communicate. Here together, in this context, many people will say, the tone here is particularly somber. So what we see here is two people claiming their territory. You have Trump, who's decided to sit forward in the chair, take up a lot of space, but only the territory that really belongs to him. Whereas Trudeau crossed his legs, he's moved over. It may look a little uncomfortable, but the reality is, is actually he's encroaching on the other's territory. So now it comes to the important point of the handshake. It's the moment when two nations through their avatars, through their representatives, get to see this moment of power. Will one be dominant over the other? Now in this case, what Trump does is to offer out the upper hand to Trudeau. He actually places his hand out so Trudeau's can only go on top of his. Interesting to know as well, Trudeau there gets the left of the picture, which means that his arm is always going to be dominant. It's always going to be the strong arm, the bigger arm. So Trump really, in terms of that moment of iconic handshake, doesn't set himself up for the most dominance when actually that's probably what he wants. So remember that Trump from the debates who would just talk over the top of anybody who was getting in his way. That's potentially not the same Trump as we're seeing now uh, in these presidential situations. Maybe he's now learnt that he has to defer, wait, be a little more cordial. Now he has this power, this ambassadorial kind of power, or presidential more like power. And so we try and tune in a lot on the body language because body language is a display of power or a response to a display of power. It indicates to us in our minds how we think negotiations and deals are going to go on.